here we have four spades, seven heart, five diamond, five club, and we're choosing two cards, and we want to know the probability of one black and one red. Again, like all probability problems, you're going to have the number of elements in the event over the number of elements in sample space. And this problem is a combination problem because when you choose two card, it doesn't matter which order you choose from. We just clear. We just care that one of them is black, one of them is red. We don't care which one is black, which one is red. And those two cards are, for all purpose of this problem, indistinguishable. So again, let's start from the bottom. Number of elements in the same full space. Well, so we have to know how many cards we have to choose from, which we add these up. So. 10, 17, and 21, so the total of 21 cards. So we're choosing from 21 cards, two of them. So that's the total number of elements in the sample space. And we want to know how many, how many number of elements we can to choose one black and one red. Well, we have really uh, diamond and heart is red. And then club and spades is black. Black, I mean. So, to choose one red, we really have 12 red to choose from, and we have to choose one of them. So this is a problem of choosing from different pool. So we have a red pool, which consists of 12, and we're choosing one red. And we also have a black pool, which have nine, and we're choosing one. So, and then you just simply calculate these numbers. Top is 12 times 9. The bottom is 210. So the answer is 108 over 210.